Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Banjo Tooie on the Xbox Live Arcade. The last time, we started off on Hailfire Peaks, and we lost and won simultaneously at the kickball tournament. So we did pretty good. We managed to get a couple of uh, couple jiggies for our efforts. We've got two, and then we got another one in a previous episode, so we're at three out of ten on this world already. So we're actually doing halfway decent. So uh, there was a move that was Kazooie only. And so my goal in this episode, or for the first few minutes right now, is to get Kazooie over there and try to get ourselves a move for Kazooie. And let's see if we can't do that. Uh, first, let's destroy that little testicle. Okay, how about with the grenade eggs? Because fire eggs don't seem to work all that well. Makes sense, as we're in a fire level, or at the very least, the fire side of a fire and ice level. Alright, so let's see if we can actually make our way over to Kazooie's pad without dying. Ow. Let's try that again. Can't, I don't remember exactly how to get there from here, but eh, I'll sure we'll, I'll sure we'll figure it out. out here. Probably not, but let's just check. No, that's not even anywhere that we can do. Uh, let's see, where do we go? Where do we go? Son of a bitch. I don't want to enter the game, I want to leave the building. Alright, let's try this one last time here. Uh, let's see, let's go over here. There we go, we made it. Fantastic. Now, how do we get out of here? Let's see, where is the... Where's the exit? Is that the one I'm looking for? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Let's try it anyways. If it's not, then... Oh well, too bad, so sad. Uh... Okay, again, that's useless since we can't actually get Banjo over here, since Banjo doesn't have access to the the shoes by himself. Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. Those steps. I think those steps get us up there. Very nice. Gotcha. Of course, now that we have our regenerating health, we don't really need to worry about Honeycombs as much. That kind of that kind of makes so what's his face is a uh, new move from the last world kind of pointless. The uh, the uh, shack pack, the one where you heal, kind of makes it kind of pointless since we just heal up all our damage uh, right away, anyways. And it's pretty cool that the rate of damage is pretty much the same, uh, or the rate of healing is pretty much the rate of damage from, like, falling into lava or whatever. That means you can't die. I mean, I can be in here all day, and I'm just not gonna die. That's pretty damn awesome, actually. I think, uh, I think if we were in that poison room in Grunty Industries, with the barrels, I think we still might be able to die in there, but... For here? We're fine. Uh, did we ever check out what was in here? I don't know. So let's check. Uh, there's a... Ladder that Kazooie can't climb. I'm pretty sure we got it here, didn't we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we came in here with Banjo. I'm gonna assume we did, and if not, we'll check it out later. Can we stop trying to crisp me? Go crisp someone else. Kazooie, at any point you want to make your way up there without failing. There we go. Uh, is this where we need to be? Almost. I think it takes us to the general area of where we need to be. Not 
Let's see, here we are. We need to get... There's eggs over there. How did I not see that with Banjo earlier? Um, okay, I guess we're going to bring Banjo over here in a little bit. So we can... Grip grab that and see where that takes us. So I'm not sure where that takes us. Let's see if we can get a better view of it. If we, if we can get a better view, then we can see if it's actually worth our time to come back here for it. There's a switch in there, it looks like. And more switches down there, so I guess it'll be worth our time. Um, where's that damn move? Will you stop trying to kill me? Oh, there it is. There we go. Oh, what? You son of a bitch. I could have swore it said Kazooie. You son of a fat bastard. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go in here again where we got the jiggy last episode. See if we can't glide our way, or, or not glide, or um, I guess it is kind of gliding since you jump and you kind of glide a little bit. So let's see if we can't get that honeycomb over there. We might not be able to, but we might be able to, so let's try it, shall we? Eh, what is this? What is this? Only a ball of great size can start the oil drill. Okay, that makes no sense, but whatever. When things get too hot, remember your bearded buddy? Wait, what? I don't have a bearded buddy. At least not in the game, I don't. Hot Link's cold is a skull wigwam? Wait, what? Oh, skull and wigwam. Um, maybe that's trying to say something about Humba and Mumbo getting together? I don't know. I'm pretty sure we, I'm pretty sure we can get this uh, with just Kazooie since we have better... We have better... Uh, jumping capabilities as her by herself. If I can get up here. There we go. Get up here. Take some damage and get up there. There we go. Much better. Ta-da! Now we need five more and we can get the uh, last honeycomb. And if I'm not mistaken, this is looking kind of chilly over here, so this might take us over to the ice side. No? Oh, ice cold grotto. So it kind of is the ice side. Uh, can we do anything in here? Let's check. Let us check. Um, that looks like it might take us outside to the ice part. There we go. Hey, is that the aliens we rescued in Charlie Rogers Lagoon? Something about a crosswind. Bye bye, Mr. Alien. <laughs> I'm dead. That's, uh, that's pretty nice of you to notice that you're dead, at least. Hey, here's another move. What do you know? Let's see if this does anything. Okay, apparently it does. Glide, okay. Now you're lifting no big fat bear. Easy it'll be to glide through the air. Jump up high and then hold LT or RT. Don't need fly pads or feathers red. Okay. So, wait, we can fly by ourselves? Um, we can't seem to gain any altitude, but... Okay, so it's called glide because you actually glide instead of actually getting anywhere. But okay, that, that helps. 
I think with this we can uh I think with this we really can get that uh What cheeks, fancy trespassing in my glacier without my permission. Hey, wasn't there wasn't there a fire guy? Wait, so there's two of these guys? I gotta fight two dragons? You sons of a bastard. And they're both shooting crap at me. You sons of a bitch. Is. Um That's probably not very good for my trying to stay alive. The heck? Ah! Not sure where I'm at here, but I'm in the process of dying. Okay, so you don't lose altitude that fast, actually. Okay, that helps. And what do you know? A warp pad. Very helpful. I like the way that looks. Uh, that apparently eggs and ooh a jump pad. Not sure if we're gonna actually need that for any. Oh, it might be, might be so you can use Banjo and Kazooie to get up here instead of just Kazooie by herself. Okay, so I wasn't expecting to come over here. I was expecting a Kazooie move, but I thought it was gonna be for the one where you get Banjo's move at. Oh, and another split pad. Very nice. Let's see, those just look like feathers, I think. Um, can't tell from this angle, but I. Hey, I see a Jiggy or Jinjo. Let's make sure he's not evil, and then if he's not, then we can. Then we can, uh. He appears to be good. Nice. We have ourselves a good. a good, uh, Jinjo. If we can ever. get our eggs up there. Let's try this again. Yay! Oh, we got. Ooh, we got the green Jinjo family. Very nice. Not too shabby, so we got another Jiggy. Not from this world, but from the overworld. We got a new we got a new move for Kazooie. We're doing pretty damn good for ourselves. Uh let's see. Let's I don't think we can get back up there. At least not without uh Oh, that's a uh treble cliff note, okay. Um uh, I don't think we can get back up there. I don't think our yeah, our high jump isn't that high. So let's just find out what's down here, and then we can make our way back over to, uh... Then we can make our way back over to Banjo, and... Why there are two jump pads here? Oh! Okay, I was about to say, I thought there was another one to our left right there, but that's just the same one. Okay, okay, I gotcha. Gotcha. Alright, where are we? We are somewhere. Not sure where, but somewhere. Uh, not sure what this is, but okay. Die. And what's... Ooh, a, uh, a Cheeto page. I wonder, what, I wonder what else we can get with our with our uh, Cheeto pages because we, we've got a lot of good cheats so far. I mean, I like the cheats that we have. Um, it looks like there might be a crack up there we can get our clockwork egg bastard through. So let's see if we can't do that. And if not, then oh well. Okay, that didn't seem to work as well as I thought. You, come here, I, I hear you, but I'm gonna destroy you. Okay, let's try this one more time. Okay, that didn't work out. What's, what's over here then? Um. More of the same cavern area with icicles. Okay. Enemies respawn in this game way too quickly. Like, way too quickly. Is that a ledge up there? 
And what do you know? It is. And look, there's a hole in the wall, so I guess we... I guess this might be the way we get that, uh... Cheeto page. It's always possible. Either that or it's going to take us to an area of the level that we haven't been to. Which I doubt. And yep, there's our Cheeto page. Very nice. So far we've got pretty much one of everything in this episode, except for... Uh, except for notes. We've got... One Jinjo, one Cheeto Page, one Honeycomb, and one, uh, one Jingo. Or, uh, Jinjo. Not, not, not Jingo. And we also got a, uh, Jiggy. So, we're doing pretty dang good for ourselves. Not too shabby. And apparently we're back on the ice side again. And there's a Yeti. And he takes a lot of hits to kill, apparently. Little bastard. Red feathers, which I don't care about. Uh, something that I can't get to yet. And... Not sure what this is. There we go, that's much better. Oh, split that, okay. I wasn't sh sure if it said something else up there. But apparently it does not. Um, I see a Yeti. Ow. Dinosaur of Doom, stop attacking me. So this side appears to have less actual, like, uh... Level hazards, like fire pools, but more actual enemy hazards. Not to mention... an ice-breathing dragon, which is just as dangerous as his fire-breathing brother, or sister, or cousin, or auntie, or uncle, or long-lost relative. What is this? Oh, this is the oil pump that they were talking about. Um, they said something about a big oil, a big ball or something. I wasn't paying too much attention because it was making not a lot of sense, but let's see. Okay. That switch looks rusty. You'll need more weight. Okay, so we might have to come back here with Banjo. Unless we turn into a giant tennis ball on this level. Uh, maybe that'll push down the weight. I highly doubt it, but oh well. Okay, that appears to be where we get back to the fire side from, so... What is this? Why is it all... Ow. No, no, don't attack me, don't attack me. Okay, what is in here, anyways? Um, oh, actually, you know what, that... No, I was gonna say, that might be where we got the ice key from, but... It doesn't look like it, actually. What's over here? Can we glide over here? Hey, a Cheeto page, what do you know? That helps. I was just hoping there was something over here. Turns out there was. I see... Ow. I see... Tracks, I was gonna say. But then I got... Dead, almost. Um, okay, this side of the level is mildly confusing so far. But, oh well, we'll get across. And I see, uh... A Bigfoot. With a big toe. Yeah, but you have one big foot and one little foot. Ow. You know what? Die. No? Okay, so he's invincible. I'm trying to talk to you here, bud, because you appear to have more conversation. Nope, come here. Okay, stop kicking me. I'm trying to talk to you here. I'm trying to talk to you here, buddy. Oh, you stay still. Okay, you know what? Screw you. You're obviously not a conversationalist, so I'm gonna leave you alone. And try to get back to Banjo and see what his move is. He appears to be guarding the, uh, whatchamacallit, the... 
the suction boots, the claw climber, so we can get over here. But I'm not sure how we're supposed to get past him. Um, oh well, we'll figure it out eventually. See how many how many moves are in this level, anyways? We've got a few. Let's see. Oh, three. No, that's honeycombs. Uh, two moves. Okay, so I guess there's one for banjo and one for kazooie. And there appears to be an igloo over there, which I'm not sure if I can get to. But I see a jiggy. Again, which I'm not sure I can get to, so we'll try our darndest. Okay, will you stop trying to kill me? What did I ever do to you guys? I see a Jinjo inside of an ice cube. An ice cube wh whisked off into the sky, huh? Okay. How about you give me the Jinjo? And then I'll go for your husband. Tell George dinner's in the something. I, see, I think I see a mumble over there. Or not Mumbo, but uh, Humba. Hey, and it's Boggy's family. What do you know? How you doing, guys? How you doing? Uh, you know Banjo's not with me, right? I think Boggy's fine by himself over here. Hey there, big fella. How you doing? Nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine channels. No online shopping. What the heck? A big hot fish. Okay. Um, not sure where exactly we're going to get that. And this is like the most boring TV channel like ever. And Boggy, I think you got screwed because you said your TV had a hundred re a hundred hertz refresh rate, and this looks more like a two hertz refresh rate. So yeah, I think you got screwed there, buddy. You seriously have health in a block of ice up here? Okay, if you insist. I wish you could like melt their furniture. That'd be pretty funny. But I guess not. I'm gonna take a wild guess. Say this is a kid's room down here. Hey, his old sled, which probably hasn't seen a lot of use now that these days. No problem there, fatty. Uh, I'm gonna let you handle that one on your own. Hey, I see two bunk beds. Um, two big beds. Okay, I was about to say, I was trying to figure out where the third one slept, but I guess this is for Boggy and Miss Boggy. And the fat guy sleeps on his own bed. And the little guy sleeps over here. Okay. I was trying to figure out where the, where the fat one slept for a second there. How about I hit you again there, Slick? Okay, you know what? Just for that little crap. Let's go for the same one we had before. Take that, you little shit. No problem, kiddo. Well, Moggy's just a regular little shit, isn't he? This guy's just fat, and hey, he's, he's not too bad, he seems to like us. 
Got a nice little bedspread going on. So, the one in the hat is a little douchebag. And the other two are okay kids. Just one's fat and one's a... Uh, one's a mama's boy. Girl. Thing. Bear. Anyways, let's go see if we can't find that fish for Mr. Uh, Mr. Boggy. Uh, I'm not sure where we would look. But, okay. Um, what is this? Oh, a mumbo pad, okay. And I see a, a dude down here. A block of ice. Uh, it's a guy with a mustache, frozen in ice. Not much I can do about that. That's probably what the, um... Probably what the Mumbo Pad is for. Mumbo's probably gonna defreeze him or something, or defrost him. Or... Alright, where's that wigwam that I saw? I know I saw it, I just went... Ooh, another... Ooh, this is nice. Another warp pad and another, uh... Another split pad, okay. And I see more notes. And more notes. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Let's see, how many notes do we got for this level, anyways? We have. Seventy out of a hundred. We know where the we know where the treble clef is, so we need two more sets of notes. Okay. We got three Jinjos, two, um, two what you call it, two uh, pages, and one honeycomb. So we're not doing too bad here. Hey, I see a Globo. How you doing there, fella? Uh, I'm not sure what this is, but okay. Ooh, and, oh, I thought that was a, uh, I thought that was a honeycomb piece for a second, but apparently not. There's probably not a whole lot we can do in there by ourselves. Um, I see another... Okay, I'm, I'm assuming these holes of ice have something to do with something. I'm just not sure what. And another mumble pad. Okay, I'm, again, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be doing for us, but okay. Wait, do we already have both the... Uh... Wait, we already have... How do we have both... I don't remember finding the first... Globo. I really don't. So, for some reason we have two. Okay. Um, we can't do anything with Mrs. Uh, Humbub right now. So... Oh, at least it's warm in here. You wanna, you wanna transform me there, pal? Ah, oh, well. Hey, what? I was just trying to jump at the wall, and apparently there's a... secret passage here, so... Hey, I, I recognize that green smoke. This is... Hey, we're in Mumble Skull. Not sure how this happened, but... Hey, didn't that signpost say something about, um... Something about... Wumba's skull and or Wumba's wigwam and Mumbo's skull connecting the hot and the cold. So it's like a shortcut, okay. Okay, so this is how you get Mumbo over to the cold world to activate his his Mumbo pads. Gotcha. And where are we anyways? Oh okay, here we are. We appear to be more on the lava side. Way over here. I see a switch. Not sure if we can do anything about that switch, but we can always try. Okay, I have no idea what that's going to do for us, but we can... Oh, it's a... Uh... A shortcut? Oh, I see a flight pad. Okay, I see a flight pad and 
This takes us over here. Not sure why they needed a shortcut for that, but okay, but now we can get over to the to the flight pad much easier and use it to get somewhere. Where are we anyways? Okay, we're over by the warp pad. Um, we need to get back to Banjo so we can get his his groove on and try to get to his uh, his move for him. What is over here? I see water, which is gonna kill me. Um, I need to remember to press the LT button when I'm jumping so I can glide and not get killed by a dragon. What do you know? A dragon is trying to kill another dragon that's in his territory. What a shocker. They must be very territorial creatures, I guess. Hey, we're back in the kickball stadium. Which means I can get back to Mr. Mr. Banjo. Um, where are you, buddy boy? There's the tubby little bastard. Alright, Banjo, it's your time to shine, buddy. Your time to shine. Okay, let's go here. And... Oh, we've already been... Okay, never mind. I was thinking of something... Something. Not sure what I was thinking, but... Okay, there appears to be no purpose to this area right here, so I wasted a lot of health doing a whole lot of nothing. Okay, so you can still die if you take damage fast enough. Okay, that's good to know. Alright, let's go find his move. If I can get to it without dying, fantastic. If not, I tried. Okay, I see the steps leading up to his move. We just gotta get over there now. It's nice that we have all these warp pads. I like it. Will you stop trying to kill me? Okay, we need to get right in here. Okay, and there was a um, there was a grip grab area over here too, wasn't there? Ah, I went totally the wrong way. God darn it. Let's try this again. Alright, let's try not to get ourselves killed over here. I wonder where that little bastard has been trying to terrorize me for a while went to. Okay, I want to make sure I... I want to make sure that I can't get up there, so never mind. I was going to say I wanted to make sure that I checked what was in there, but... It helps if we can get out, if we can actually get up there, which we can't. Let's see, we are over... There we go. Get up, you bastard bear. There we go, much better, much better. Alright, what do we got, what do we got? The shack pack. This one makes you safe and small to fit through gaps in a wall. First hold LT or RT, then press right stick down 
protected in liquids, you will... Wait, what do you mean protected in liquids? Okay, so we're a, uh, a walking backpack now. He said something about being protected in liquids, so let's see what that means. There's a pool of burning hot liquid over here, so let's test it out in here. See if actually, you know what? It probably won't work on the lava, will it? Wait, it does work on the lava. The lava's liquid. Wait, so we can walk through like poisonous liquids and stuff now and not be killed? That's pretty damn cool. I like that. And suddenly, I think I know that we can get the Jiggy in Grunty Industries. Okay, so... I'm liking this move already. Okay, where are we anyways? Warning. Trespassers in the exceedingly hot water are likely to be cooked. Not with my new ability, we aren't. Hey, I see a fish. Hey, that's, that's what a... Um, that's what a buggy wanted. And we get a black ginger for our troubles. Not too shabby. I'm liking this ability. Now we can finally get uh, that Jiggy over in Grunty Industries now. I think. And I think these are going to be the last two notes that we needed. Very nice. Very nice. Or the last one note. Or nope, both of them. Oh, and another warp pad. Don't you dare fall down. There's a lot of split pads near these warp pads. And there's a lot of these fiery hands of bastardization. Ow. Stop trying to kill me. Um, I like the way we can go through stuff now here. Okay, you know what? Let's see what's um, in this hole right here. Oh, wait, this looks like it might be somewhere we can't get easily back to. Um, okay, this makes no practical sense, but okay. Anyways, now that we're super banjo, get in the water. H2O. Okay, that makes... T okay, how the fuck did that water hit me, like, way down here in the... Or, not the water, how did... Yeah, how did the water hit me way down here in the water? How did that fireball of... You son of a bitch, I'm gonna kill you in your sleep, you little rat bastard. Come here, you little fuck. Come here, you little shit. Take that, you little shit. Oh, anyways, how did that uh, meteor fireball thing hit me in the water? I don't get that. That water's far too hot for our swimming pool. Screw you, pig! Who said this water was anything for you? This water could have been for the thirsty, thirsty dinosaur in uh, Dinosaur World. Okay, get out of the water. Um... Will you leave me alone for a second? Okay, I want to get over to... Not fucking first person view. Die, you little shit. I want to get back over to... This right here. And then I want to see... I want to see what's in that door right there. And this door right here, too. Okay, back on the icy side. And... Oh, that's that's where that big... Big-toed big Bigfoot is. Um, can we get back up here? Okay, we can, okay. Uh, let's see what that is. Let's see if let's see if we can do any better talking to him as banjo. Probably not, but we can always check, right? Here 
You're a big foot. Yeah, I noticed the big toe. Not really. Wait, how is Kazooie talking when she's not even in the backpack? And yeah, the shoes don't even fit you. Why not? I want your shoes. Okay, why is he kicking his... Kazooie. Ow. Now it's what's really big. Ooh, he runs off and leaves his shoes for us. Okay. But, okay. Why was he trying to kick Kazooie and not trying to kick Banjo? I don't get that. Um, but apparently we can access those shoes now. Which gets us up here. Which I'm not going to bother with right now. Anyways, um... Oh yeah, I wanted to go over here. And I probably could have just jumped over the... The rocks. What is this? Where was that ledge that I was looking for earlier? There was a ledge that we could have done something with, and I don't know where it went. Um... I don't know. We'll figure it out. And if not, oh well. Will you stop trying to kill me? Oh, the train station. Nito. Ow. No, that's not what I was trying to do. Is there anything in here? This is a pretty big train. Ooh, a, uh, whatchamacallit? Honeycomb piece, and... I know well, what's-his-face is in here somewhere. There's the little shit. Chuffy is viewing the cape. Ah, I don't give a crap about the cape, man. He's come over here. I thought I left you in... Okay, apparently you can't call him without Kazooie. Okay, I did not know that. Let's see, is it gonna let me over here? It is. Ow, without killing me though, that's the question. Uh, let's see, we can get this. I know we can. This might take us a while. Alright, we got it. Very nice. Wow, that guy's fast. Doesn't appear to be anything on that side, but we can always check just to make sure. I see health and a whole lot of nothing else. Okay, um... Well, I think we've got a pretty good amount of stuff done for this episode, so I'm going to make my way back to Kazooie, and then we'll team back up and try to explore more of this world next time. Um, I might end up meeting you guys in a different world to use our, our new abilities to get some uh, jiggies, or we might continue exploring this area, I'm not sure. Um, we might go back to Grunty Industries for a few minutes, we might go back to Jolly Rogers Lagoon, but... Either way, once I decide, we'll meet you there, and we'll try to get more stuff done. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.